What are the best foods to heal our eczema and our topical steroid withdrawal? We all know that healing starts from within, but where do we start? We're in the kitchen today because I'm going to go through some of my cupboards, my refrigerator, how I organize my meal prep so that you can have a good understanding as to what to buy, what you need to be eating, so that you are getting the essential vitamins and nutrition necessary in order to recover from your skin inflammation. What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leila and for those of you who are new here, my channel is dedicated to all of those of you who are struggling with skin conditions such as eczema, rosacea, psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, topical steroid withdrawal, any other skin condition that you might be struggling with, this here is the channel to be watching. My ethos is all about healing from the inside out, making sure that we're putting the right foods into our gut, restoring our liver, and it all starts right here in the kitchen. So without further ado, let's get into it. But before we do, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up for this video. If you do get some value out of it, consider subscribing down below, join my community. And without further ado, let's get going. So for the record, this is my most favorite time of the year, end of fall, beginning of winter, because all the fruits and vegetables that are so, so good for you are right in season. And it is, a, it is purposefully like that because of our immunity and we need to keep our immunity in check. And we all know that in the winter cold months, we're more susceptible to catching cold. And therefore the fruits and vegetables that are in season should be consumed according to those seasons. That is the reason why they are produced, they are harvested, because they come into alignment with what is going on with your health at that time of year. And these winter vegetables, such as our butternut squashes, our sweet potatoes, our onions, our garlics, these are the kind of things that we really need to be consuming in the winter months because they are packed, packed with antioxidants. So they'll keep our immunity in check. Starting off with our sweet potato. This has to be probably my number one carbohydrate that I eat almost every single day because it's so super high in flavonoids, beta carotene, which is so anti-inflammatory when it comes to our skin. It also is so good for actually protecting our skin from UV damage. Now that's not to say that you need to not wear a sunscreen. Of course, we need to wear a sunscreen every day to protect our skin barrier, but the sweet potato is so packed with antioxidants. It's such an anti-allergen food source, in actual fact, it can really help curb a lot of allergies over time. And it's super sweet. I like to roast this in the oven. I like to slice it in half and do almost like a baked potato is with it as well. And yeah, it's got so many beautiful things. And this is gonna go into my salad. And I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, um, my salad, my sort of staple salad that I have every day in the winter, which I'm still obsessed with even two years later. I still really adore this salad. And let me know down below in the comments what kind of foods you're eating this time of year and whether or not you're seeing a difference with your skin. Next up, we've got butternut squash. Now this runs a lot in the family of the courgettes and again, packed with loads of antioxidants. Anything that is orange has that beta carotin in it, which is very high in flavonoids. It's got lots and lots of anti-inflammatory properties with it and then it also helps reduce allergens, which is super. And I have to say over the last couple of years of eating a lot of these types of winter vegetables and incorporating them more into my diet on a daily basis. I definitely see my allergic reaction to animals especially and now I can actually tolerate them a lot more than I ever used to. So I think it's all thanks to these flavonoids. Next up we've got onions. Now red onions are a little bit more potent than white onions but these are super high in quercetin and quercetin can really help reduce your histamine levels and by reducing your histamine levels you're reducing your itch. So that is something really worth considering. It helps reduce allergies, asthma, that sort of thing. It's a very high antioxidant and it's packed with photochemicals to improve mental health. Um, it helps protect the liver and the kidneys and it even claims to help reduce Alzheimer's. Um, and it definitely is a good mood booster. And again, I really love to roast this in the oven with all my other winter veg. Then we have our garlic. Now garlic is a brilliant immune booster, as we said earlier about these vegetables being in season in the winter for a reason. And that is probably because in the cold climate, we are very susceptible to catching infections and colds and fluids and so forth. So having lots of garlic can really help 
boost your immunity and protect you from any of those infections. This is great if you have uh, any bacterial or virus or fungus and parasite infections, especially because it has an enzyme in it that is specifically made to help ward off those nasty viruses. I want to talk to you about my seeds because I really love my seeds. My seeds are my go-to when my skin is feeling dry or I just really want to work on a lot of moisture retention. This can really boost your omega-3 and 6 so that you can get that water retention, that hydration coming through from the inside out and this is probably like the best moisturizer that I could possibly recommend and for me it all starts with the flaxseed. I grind the flaxseed up in my magic bullet and I sprinkle it over my salad or my smoothie or pretty much anything I can think of. Any way I can involve these flax seeds into my meals, I do because it, you can't really taste it when it's all grounded up, um, and it a very, very, makes a very fine sort of powder, like a, a flour almost, and you can just integrate it on and sprinkle it on everything, and it really does the job. I love chai seeds too, more for puddings. Um, I do like chai seed and oat uh, little jar, jam jars and then I'll fill that with some rice milk or oat milk and then I can add you know my fruits on top and I can have those as kind of like overnight chai seeds, overnight oats. I love making jam with chai seeds. I did a blueberry jam the other day, delish, which was super yummy and then next up is sunflower seeds and I've tried to do sunflower butter but unfortunately I have failed many, many times, but I do love having this kind of like almost as a paste with some water and it kind of can like make a little, almost like a cashew topping, but it's not cashew. So it's like a sunflower cream topping that you can have over your dishes, which is also really, really yummy. I love that. And then here I just have my pumpkin seeds as well and I can ha kind of have these on the go in the car in my handbag as something to munch on so that I know I'm getting something healthy in but I literally could not live without my beautiful seeds. I absolutely adore them and incorporate them in my diet. I've seen such a huge change just incorporating seeds into my diet. Next up we have oats. Now I am a real avid oat eater and during my TSW I have to say it was probably the number one thing that really helped kickstart my gut for the day and I love these small little oats, quite fine oats that I like for breakfast and these are a gluten-free oat. You can get all sorts of different types of oats but the most natural oats is probably the ones that you'll find either in the um, organic aisle or at least in your whole food supermarket but I think having the most natural form of oats is best rather than those uh, quick oats that you can get sort of in boxes. Um, with the oats I like to grind them up, turn it into a flour, add it to my baking. I like to do overnight oats with some rice milk or oat milk and then I can add some fruit in there as well and have them as a pudding or as a breakfast. And what I really love about the oats is that it's very slow releasing energy so that you're not starving hungry by 11 o'clock after your breakfast, which is what is common for me. But the main big benefit is that they are so good for your gut. They can really help line your gut and repair a lot of that impermeability. Next up is legumes. Legumes are really high in zinc and zinc can really help reduce a lot of the cracked skin that you might get around the mouth or cracked lips, cracked neck, that sort of area, anything that's sort of cracked. Zinc can really help close up those cracks and those wounds and you get that in your legumes. So your chickpeas, you can add that to your roast dishes, you can add it to your salads. I'm a huge fan of chickpeas or you can use um, kidney beans or lentils which is really hearty for stews in the winter so go crazy when it comes to adding legumes because it's quite hard to find zinc in your food sources and all these legumes give you that so over in my refrigerator I've got my fresh berries I love these red cranberries really Christmassy and I love pomegranate I like to buy it loose and pre-prepared at the supermarket I also have my Greek yogurt which is brebi which is sheep which I'm much more tolerant to along with my salads which I like to have mixed leaf I also really like the iceberg lettuce which my kids love then we have our cheeses again always brebby always sheep it's a much easier tolerant 
um, cheese dairy to go for and I have a little bit of the sheep milk, a bit of the sheep yogurt and you really can't taste a difference and I even have it with a rock for. Then I have a few um, slice cuts which I like to add onto my salads as well and then I also like to pancetta it in the oven. Next we've got my vegetables and this is an assortment of all the winter veg that you can really indulge in, roasted or pan fry it or just have it in a stew. The meats I like to choose, I tend to go for a lot more poultry like turkey and chicken and I like to do those in a stew or in a roast for the winter. And then lastly, we've got my dairy milk, and I did do a video about dairy, so I'll link that here with you guys too, but I like a rice milk, and I really love this barista oat milk. It's so tasty. It makes a really lovely foam in your machine. Um, this is a chocolate oat milk, and then again, my sheep milk. So there we have it. As promised you guys, this is my daily salad that I have with a mix of different colorful leaves, um, you want to get all those different colors in and then I pop my roasted veg that we did earlier with all the onions and sweet potato and the garlic on top and then I really like to add some hummus, some homemade hummus from my chickpeas which is very garlicky as well so it's super good for you and I like to sprinkle that with a dusting of my grounded flax seeds for my skin and I have this salad so often and it's so so easy to make so go ahead and give it a try at home. So last up for my fruit I love to indulge in these pink lady apples they are so delicious along with my cranberry granite and my red cranberries in the fridge as well as persimmons. Persimmons are just so delicious. Again another orange fruit with a piece of carotene, the flavonoids, very good when it comes to anti-inflammatory properties um, and very low in histamine as well so do go check those out with coffee and tea i like to drink a aqua decaf coffee now this decaf coffee is actually filtered with water to decaffeinate which is very unusual because most decaffeinated coffees filter with various different chemicals to remove that caffeine from the coffee and I'll put this in the link below because I've decanted the last of my little coffee in this jar here. As my daily go-to though, I always have this rooibos tea with apple and cinnamon infusion. You can get this on Amazon as well, so I'll put that down in the link below for you guys. That is it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys all next week for another one. Bye for now.